We now visit the kingdom. TaylorMade's Club Fitting, Instruction, and Testing Center in Carlsbad, California. To learn more about the new TaylorMade TP Rescue with flight control technology, here's Golf Magazine's Jessica Marksberry. So we're uh, going to talk about something really exciting, the TaylorMade Rescue Club. It is the first adjustable hybrid on the market in history. Is that correct? That's correct. So tell us more about this club. It's pretty phenomenal technology here. Oh, it, it's wonderful. I mean, we, we've, as you know, introduced the first rescue in 2003. I mean, we almost invented it, if you want to. That was this fabulous product that you could exchange rather than playing your three iron uh, or maybe your five wood or seven wood, you would elect to play your rescue because the versatility that you can get with this product out of the rough out of the bunker is exceptional. Now you can get it the way you want. If you want to go left, you adjust the shaft and the head, you put it on the left position. And if you don't want to do that, you prefer a straight trajectory, you'll put on the N position, which is neutral, or on the NU, which is neutral uh, upright. And finally, if you really want a straighter or a little more right trajectory, you're going to use the R position. We can adjust your trajectory about 40 yards right to left. As soon as you hear the click, you're in position and you can play your, your rescue. Here it is, fully assembled the way you'd like to see the trajectory. Actually, it comes with eight position total. There are four position in between those four major ones that I just described to you. Now you have 40 yards of adjustment right to left. Enjoy, play the game. So Benoit, we not only have flight control technology working here in the adjustable part of the club, but what else is going on in the club head? Yeah, you, you, it's correct, Jessica. We introduce other technology in this rescue. For example, we removed a lot of the weight that it's trapped in the crown of the rescue head, and we relocated as low as we could in order to get this low CG that is so useful to get the ball up in the air when you hit it from the rough or from the bunker. What we've done also is we've made sure that this sole is gliding perfectly in uh, those uh, tough circumstances. And as you can see, we recess the sole and remove some material here in order to leave a very small area that is gliding. We also incorporated a very thin phase that is delivering a high COR which means that we're producing a lot of velocity at impact because the face is slightly flexing during the contact.